Weasel. Weasel, Weasel. Is it time for another trip? I almost took Chevy this trip. And the last minute, you begged to come with, so here you are, buddy. We're all happy you're here. I did not beg. So good day, good morning, everybody. It's actually evening time right now. The yard lights are already on here. I'm just picking up my trailer. Looks like the shop did something to it because it wasn't in the place where I left it. Kind of panicked me at first. I got to the yard, went to where my trailer is supposed to be. It wasn't there. I had to roll around the yard looking for it and it's parked way in the back and it has a little tag on it uh, saying that they got had some work done to it. It's good to go, but I got to figure out what they did. What did they do to my trailer? But uh, other than that, we are on our way down to Chicago area. Schiller Park, Illinois, to be a little more specific. We gotta get down there now. <laughs> Today's Saturday when I'm leaving, when I'm filming this, so we're gonna drive into the night tonight. And we have all day tomorrow to drive and we're gonna get there tomorrow night and then we deliver first thing bright and early Monday morning and then we try to get back for Tuesday evening. And we'll be back for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, probably leave Friday and then we'll be gone for most of the month again. My aunt is getting married. My Aunt Lisa is getting married end of this month in November. So I'd like to be home for that. But other than that, we have no no reason. Well, then again, there's my sister's birthday, my nephew's birthday, the wedding. Okay, there's a lot of reasons to be home between now and Christmas. I was going to say, well, there's nothing to be home for until Christmas. That's a total lie. We got lots going on in November yet. So it's going to be a busy month. We're going to get in as many miles as we can, haul as many loads as we can, and still try to get to all the events we want to. Speaking of which, let's go and check our load and let's get hooked up. This is the same freight we picked up in Edmonton. Brought <clears throat> it on down here. All right, so apparently we got a new tire here. It doesn't look like a new tire. I wonder why they replaced this tire. This didn't need to be replaced when I parked it. Unless if maybe I ran over a nail while I was parking it and didn't realize it and they noticed it was flat over the, I don't know. Cause I did my post trip before I, uh, before I went home, I did my post trip and these tires were fine, but this tire here is new. They also put a, a new mud flap on the back there. And that mud flap was fine too. So I don't know why they replaced that and the tire. Well, didn't need a new tire. Apparently it did. All right, well, I've had enough tire problems for the last while. Hope I don't have any tire problems with this now. Let's just check under here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. Make sure that that is latched. I can see it there. It's latched in. Completely locked in. All right. Let's take this to Chicago. We're pretty low on fuel. I've been waiting to get into the U.S. to fuel. Got about a quarter tank left of def. Uh, about a third of a tank left, left of on. fuel. South 48th Street. Oh, calm down, Karen. Uh, so we're here in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Yeah, I'm gonna fuel up with the Flying J, and then I'm gonna go down to at least Fargo, maybe further. I'm getting a little tired. First day on the road, like usual. Ugh. I want to get to at least Fargo. I want to make sure that I can get to my destination where I need to tomorrow by end of day. I think I'm probably going to go to Rochelle, Illinois tomorrow and sleep there. But I don't want to get there too late because I don't want to risk not getting a parking spot. Let's grab our fuel here and 
continue down the road. This is my exit. One of our usual stops. In 300 meters, turn right on 340th Avenue, CR 11 and then approaching destination on the left side in 210 meters. It's very talkative again tonight. Whoa, two big piles of dirt right there on the shoulder. Hey, someone's gonna nail those if they're not paying attention. Guess that's why you should be paying attention. So we're in Rothsay, Minnesota. Oh, this place is full. Oh, there's still room there for me. No worries. This is one of our usual stops. Usually on my first day out, this is about where we make it to. I don't like driving too far on my first day, if I don't have to. If I have to, I'll do it, but... Very often I leave pretty late to my on my first day up back on the road because approaching destination I try to, 100 meters on the left side I try to stay home as long as possible you know get all the time I can there all right let's see let's see if we got a parking spot here hey room for a destination on the left side Roth say truck stop well, I already told them where we are man Almost called you Mandy again. Still, still can't get used to calling her Karen. <laughs> We've got over 10 years with Mandy. Jeez. She still hasn't smacked me yet, so at least she's understanding. Oh yeah, look at this, there's a room. Usually I want to park right where this guy is. Here, this little, on the left, holding that boat. Oh, nice, Pete. Nice. I would park beside you, but you're a reefer. No thanks. I'm gonna back in right beside those two flatbeds right there in front of me. Yep. Just gonna do a little bit of a U-ball here and pull in right in between these guys. Got a nice light lighting up the back of my truck and my fuel tanks that way so nobody gets any funny ideas at night. It's my fuel. I paid for it. Get your own. My friend Adam had his fuel stolen north of Houston not too long ago. It makes me so angry when that happens. So we drove just over 400 kilometers today, about four hours of driving. We have approximately 1,000 left to go to destination, but I have 884 kilometers left to Rochelle, Illinois, to that Petro. I'm gonna stay there for the night tomorrow. I'm gonna tell the good people that I am done. Hand in my paperwork. Dip, 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 hey, hey, there you go. Yep, yep, all is good. Yep, all is good. Come on, this touch screen isn't always very touchy. So uh, it was a short day today, short, short day. Tomorrow is going to be a long day, so we'll make up for it then, don't you worry. Uh, agree to that. Agree to this. Agree to that. Certify this. Certify that. And boom! All my paperwork is done, completed, and handed in. Oh, yep. So I'm going to go back there and watch a movie on my TV, because I got that new TV mount. I showed it to you, right? I actually sort of want to move it a little further back here, but not tonight. Not tonight. We're just going to enjoy a, an evening here. And uh, I can sleep in a little bit tomorrow. I don't have to stay here just the 10 hours. I could maybe stay a little longer if I wanted to. Uh, daylight savings time tonight. So right now the time is 12.37. But technically it's 11.37. Because we gain an hour. We fall back an hour. Whatever. So thanks for tuning in today. Maybe we'll continue this a little bit tomorrow morning. Maybe not. Maybe you'll have to subscribe. And we'll start a new vlog tomorrow. I guess we'll find out. Take care. I'll see you then.